What's up, y'all? Bricks from Bricks Fitness. I'm on my way to pick up my nephews, right? So there's, I'm going to get to the backstory about my nephews in a second. Kimmy can't come with me because they're young. They're like, they're young, so they're both in car seats, so I can't have both two car seats and Alyssa and RJ in the car at the same time. It'll just be, it won't work. It, it wasn't enough space, so I'm, I'm flying solo today. So I'm picking them up, and then I'm going to go to the gym. I have it, I have it like been around little kids in so long so this should be fun these are my brother's two kids my brother lives in new york and he has two kids that live here in virginia but they live in richmond which is not far probably like an hour and a half from here um but i'm just i'm just now getting to the point in my life where i i'm able to i have the not just the time and the energy to be able to, to help help out more with my family, but the money, and I'm just now in a place where I could do it. I've always wanted to, but I, I, I wasn't in a place where I could because I was living in with my, with my boy Rob helped me identify as survival mode. Oh shit, almost spilled my water. For a very long time, and 100% at my own fault, you know, because of things that I've did or didn't do, I was I was kind of scratching to get by in life, financially, not just financially, in 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 a lot of way, a lot ways more than fi just financially. But uh, life life been tough. Some you know, due to some circumstances that I created and some that I didn't. But nevertheless, I was living in survival mode. Survival mode is just is simply when your brain defaults to you doing anything you have to do in order to survive, right? But what this does, it causes desperation. And for me, this desperation led to a few things. It led to me excusing negative behaviors. It led to me um, not necessarily making the best decisions with my life, right? Because I always blamed it on I'm just trying to survive. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can identify with with that. Um But I had to I had to switch out of survival mode. Let me wait. Oh yeah. Okay, the lighting got better. I had to switch out of survival mode because um this survival mode mentality was was essentially me having fear and me not having faith in in God and me not having faith in my purpose. Um, and faith, you know, fear is the opposite of faith. So if you're if you're afraid, then you're not having faith. And if and, and I feel like faith is one of the biggest things that has gotten me to where I am in my life right now, right? And I know I'm rambling, <laughs> but um, getting out of survival mode. And 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 thank God for sending me my my, my good friend Rob Rob Hill Senior. Um, Cause he he helped me identify this. He helped me identify the fact that I was living in survival mode and I was I was still being driven and fueled by the wrong things. Even though I, it was leading to good outcomes, you know I was I was I was I used to be fueled by oh I'm a you know I'm a I'm gonna prove all the people wrong that used to doubt me that used to doubt me or I'm a you know I'm a shit on the people that used to make fun of me when I was fat. Or, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Things that, that are really silly, and at the time it was working, it was helping me, you know, go in the right direction, but it wasn't the right kind of fuel. So, him kind of helping me make this mental switch in my head from survival mode to, to, just, to just thrive, thriving. Like, I'm not surviving anymore, I'm thriving. And, and when, you have, when you live in survival mode, the most you're gonna get is survival. And we're not here to just get by. I'm not. I'm not here for that. And I'm pretty sure you're not here for that either. So just switch, switching that mindset. And no matter what your situation may look like right now, because when I made the mindset switch, I was still, you know, I still had a lot of financial issues. I still had a lot of things that made the landscape of my life going forward seem very challenging. But I, I but I made the decision to switch from survival mode to straight to straight thrive mode, 
and it made all the difference. It made such a big difference in my life. So now I live with faith, even when things seems, you know, when adversity pops up, I like, don't get me wrong, I have my moments where I get afraid or, or you know what I'm saying, like I start doubting, but I don't let it last more than a moment because I catch myself. So you have to you have to have the power to catch yourself when you when you when you're showing signs of fear or when you're sh showing sound signs that you're not having faith, right? Faith is such a, a powerful thing and it's so cliche, like you gotta have faith. But that's what makes faith what it is. It's something that you can't see, you can't put your hand on it, it's not tangible. So the power in it also comes from you not really fully understanding or, or being able to explain what it is. And people who have exercised faith know exactly what I'm saying right now. But in short, form a vision, I say this all the time, form a vision for your life, believe in that vision, have integrity, be a good person to the core of who you are. In the dark, when nobody's watching, still do the right thing. Always do the right thing. Doing the right thing is always the right thing to do. All right, I'm gonna stop. I really hate to keep preaching to y'all, but something else just hit me. Um, gratitude is another big thing. Like gratitude in, it kind of goes hand in hand with faith. Like you kind of, you have to appreciate the things that you want in your life before you even get them. You have to have so much faith that they're coming that you can feel the gratitude for it. Like for instance, I am now getting into the world of real estate, right? But I am at the very baby steps of this. I just had a vision of me purchasing my first multi-unit property and I had this, it almost brought tears to my eyes, the, the amount of appreciation I felt. Lord only knows when that's really gonna happen. But I know for a fact it's gonna happen and I'm so sure that it's gonna happen that I feel the gratitude, I felt the joy way before it's even happened. And, and that's so important in, in manifesting the things that you want and creating the life that you want and designing the life that you want. You have to have the faith, you have to appreciate it. Not only appreciate it happening, but also appreciate what you have right now. Like, I, uh, I love my life. The shortcomings in it and all. Like, is it, does my life look like Right now, what does it look like what I what I see in the vision for my life in the grand scheme? No, it doesn't. But I love where I am right now. I'm enjoying every part of this process. And that is a big part of making my vision happen. I'm, I'm appreciative of, of what I have right now. All right, I'm done. I'll jump off the soapbox. All right, slight change of plans. My nephew's mom was, my nephew's mom. Yeah, my nephew's mom was running about an hour behind, so I'm heading to the gym now. I'm gonna just have her meet me here. So I'm gonna do a little shoulders and some cardio today. Um, I'm fasted, I really wanna do legs. I mean, I don't wanna do legs. I really should do legs, but I'm fasted and I don't like training legs fasted. Um, so I'm gonna just do the legs sometime this weekend. So shoulders, cardio. With that exercise, I'm focusing on a very general principle of muscle building. A concept that once I understood it, it changed my, my perspective on things. Time under tension. So my muscles are under tension for a long period of time uh, when I do that exercise. So Google time under tension because that's one of the most key principles when it comes to building muscle. Workout complete. I'm still here at the Y. I am making my oatmeal. So I got my oats, my eggs, my protein powder, my peanut butter. So I'm about to make this right here. No excuses, y'all. You have to have your food prepared. I don't care where I am. I make, I make sure I'm eating right.
random thought, there are certain truths that just don't require words. That is going to connect with who, whoever it's supposed to connect with. Hey guys! What's oh, hi, Uncle Robbie. What's up? Hi, Robbie. <laughs> you guys ready to have fun this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. You gonna come out? Yeah. I said you ready to go see Uncle Robbie? Uncle Bobby? No, Uncle Robbie. Number Uncle five. Bobby? <laughs> Ooh, just like your daddy. What's up? What's up? Hi. Get all that food. <laughs> What's that? Bustles. You said what? Those are muscles. That's his muscles? Yeah. Is this the bus? Yes. You think so? Lisa, 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 Lisa. Yep, that's her bus. So listen, 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 listen. All right, come on, guys. Get inside. I miss him so much. Look what my friend gave me. Slime? Yeah. Wait, what should you do again? Brick fitness. Daddy. Huh? Again? Guess who, um, who's in the car? Yeah, who else? Um, Cameron and Jordan. So, yeah. So as you can see, we got a lot going on right now in this house. RJ's in the shower. Cameron and Jordan are in here playing with, with their aunt. She in here acting like she's hey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just end this vlog right now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you have not. I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well. Get